guys and welcome back to another video so today i am building in windenburg again on the island because you guys know i love building in windenburg so i'm building on the 64 by 64 lot it's the largest lot in windenburg and uh, i'm building a no custom content modern mansion um so i found the inspiration for this mansion of instagram I, as you guys know i always download or download that's not what i wanted to say i always get my inspiration from instagram so this time wasn't any different so i did copy some parts of that house but of course i didn't make a exact copy because i just didn't want to do that um so the backyard that i'm doing right now with the pool going in i got that from uh, the picture and the outdoor indoor living concept that i'm doing for this house i got from that house as well so like you can see it's very modern i'm going to be working with lots and lots of uh tall big windows for lighting of course and i really wanted the sims to enjoy the sunset of the um, beautiful island because this part that i'm building here is overlooking the sea so you can see the ocean so i really wanted lots of windows on this side um, and on the other side is where the main entrance is going to be so i'm using these spade fountains no it's not fountains it's like little um waterfall features i don't know how they are called but i don't really use them a lot but this time i i i just felt like using them and it looks a bit different and fun so i'm very happy with that um so this uh area right here is going to be the sunken uh garden or patio area there's going to be a barbecue area a large cinema um television um lounge area and of course you can use the pool there as well um so there is a pool going inwards and uh, like i said it's a outdoor indoor living concept so the living room and kitchen are uh, actually outdoor and uh, the the bedrooms and uh, as are indoor um so i thought that that was okay because this is the sims ouch i just knocked my hand on the table um, because this is the sims and it's always beautiful weather so they can live indoor and outdoor if they want to maybe if uh, we are going to get uh, seasons then you might want to build them a little wall um, to enclose everything but until we have seasons this is fine um so yeah here making the garage i really wanted to implement a garage as well um in the little hope that we are going to get cars someday um so yeah i'm just having loads of fun with this build um so as you guys know or if you don't know maybe you are new to my channel i love building modern builds uh, a lot so this is one of my favorite mentions that i did i also did like a more of a traditional old-fashioned mansion you can find that on my channel as well i will put in a link in the description um and i really liked building that as well but i do like doing this more i just love doing uh unconventional shapes um and uh i love that it's uh, somewhat symmetrical but not symmetrical at all <laughs> so that's really fun to do as well so yeah here just playing around where i wanted the stairs to go um and at first i was like hmm, i am not in love with the lighting outside um because the lighting is weird um when you like do a outside living um the lighting isn't really uh as vibrant um but that's okay in the end when i overlook everything the lighting is fine um it doesn't really distract so this entire section is going to be open but now i'm just really just playing with the shape and seeing how i want this all to come together so at first i opted for arches there but i will be removing those arches because they look weird i mean they are too uh, traditional looking for this very modern build and if you go into the uh, catalog um, 
and you look at all the arches for the middle length uh, walls because this is the middle size um, there isn't anything um, for a two tile arch that is modern um, so you have like a one tile uh, modern looking arch and then the two tile are all with the uh, the rounded arches so it doesn't look very nice uh, on a modern build so i hope that we are going to get more arches in the future and usually when i'm doing a cc build i use the arches from uh, peacemaker ic um, he has the most beautiful custom content in the world uh, and i am a big fan of his um so yeah here you can see me pausing a bit i was like what am i going to do now so i decided to color all the flooring a bit just to give me a little feel on how it's going to look um, so the outside of the mansion isn't finished by far that all will be finished in part two um, so in this part it's going to look a little bit weird especially the uh, the main area that I'm going to do here is go going to look a little bit too uh, just to abstract or I don't know how to say it but it just didn't look right and I will adjust that all in part two and you will see everything come together um, so yeah here just playing around with the windows and I didn't want to do large windows in that front area right there because I wanted the home cinema to come there so there are five bedrooms by the way I did five bedrooms five bathrooms a cinema outdoor a cinema indoor and a gym so that's all in this build and there is a office implemented as well so there is loads and loads of stuff in this uh, mansion i think there's everything a sim needs um there isn't a like a mini library but that's okay i mean we have bookcases i mean i think i added a bookcase yes i did i added a bookcase so it has literally everything a sim needs um but i don't think that i added a hot tub no i did add a hot tub i didn't add a sauna that's something i didn't add which i've which I'm thinking about it now and that would have been really nice to have as well but that's okay I mean you can always add in a sauna if you like so this is the front that I'm doing and this is going to change completely uh, I am going to work with fountains um, but I'm not going to keep it like this this is too straight and boring so I do spice it up but you will see that in part two um, so yeah just I'm, I'm really just playing around to be honest nothing that I'm doing right now uh, was like okay this is set in stone I'm going to keep it like this um, I, I had just the idea in my mind I'm just going to do whatever I feel like doing at this point and we are going to adjust that in the end so that is um, how I went uh, on building this. Sometimes I already know what I'm going to do and I have it all laid out uh, in my mind or I drew it on paper. Uh, but this time I didn't, I only had that picture and I was like, I'm just going with whatever I feel like doing at the moment of building and that was really fun for me to do it was very creative and i felt really free in what i wanted to add which was great um because when you are like doing celebrity builds which i also love but sometimes it's like you have no creativity or you know not really creativity that's not what i'm trying to say but you don't have your own creative input because you are uh, recreating a house so doing something like this now and then really makes me happy. Um, so yeah, I just love mixing things up. I love doing the celebrity builds and trying to make something look really exact and the same. And I also love building things that are just for me. Which is this, uh, with a little inspiration of the pictures. I mean, I do love taking inspiration of existing houses because i i am not a architect um sometimes i need a little visual help uh, because i just don't know what to build and i've built so many things at some point you just don't know what to build anymore so those um architects that i do follow really help me with building so if you are like i really want to learn how to build 
just take existing houses uh, and take little pieces of what you like and combine it all in one simple beautiful house and I do find uh, modern houses are very easy to build because you can do anything there are no rules you can make it as fun and as interesting and weird as you want to in a modern build so that's always always very nice um so yeah doing a little bit of landscaping um i'm going into the uh furnishing i think in a few minutes as well so i will be i, I am just all over the place i'm going inside outside i'm doing all sorts of things uh, at a time uh, but that's just the way I really like to build I don't really like to focus at one point and then go inward uh, in the future in the future in the in the past I did build like that um, but I just changed so in the past I would do like the entire outside and um, all the landscaping first and then I went inside uh, but I know it, it just changed I changed my building style a bit and now I'm loving building everything at the same time I don't know I'm sometimes I'm a bit weird but that's okay <laughs> um, so adding in a hot tub so there is uh, going to be a hot tub some seating areas right here and a very large a cinema television from the movie hangout stuff pack um, so your sims can either watch uh, have movie nights outside or they can have it inside in the home theater um, which I also really loved doing um, so yeah oh and this is going to be the master bedroom by the way the master bedroom is on the ground floor because I just re really liked the idea that you can just open up your door and just overlook um, the entire garden and just step outside and use that pool I mean that's just awesome so I really wanted the uh, master bedroom in the uh, ground floor so it's going to have a little walk in section and its own private bathroom of course um, and again there aren't any arches uh, two tile arches to use because usually I use a arch going inward uh, into like the walk-in and then another arch going into the bathroom but for this modern build there wasn't anything for the middle height windows uh, walls and I think this looks actually better and I don't have any lighting issues because if you use arches in small spaces the lighting is going to be a bit weird especially if you have like white furnishing or white walls it all looks a little bit over lighted so I like this better to be honest and I see that I I forgot to paint a wall there I do think I adjust that uh, before upload if not I can still go back and change that because it's not on the gallery yet so making a little his and hers walk in closet um, so this is the master bedroom for the parents of course um, so like I said there are going to be five bedrooms there's this one this is number one upstairs there are going to be two grill bedrooms one uh, kids girl bedroom and one teen girls bedroom um, there's going to be a guest bedroom and there is going to be a boys bedroom and the boys bedroom is going to have a bunk bed and they are usable 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 which is really awesome as well and I got that idea from the sim supply uh, before you are going to say oh you copycat yes I did copy him I mean he has so many great building in uh, ideas he's my one of my biggest inspirations so I do tend and find things uh, that he built um, that I like and I do implement that in my builds um, so yeah making a little seating area so everything is going to be very black and white themed and gray like you guys can see I, I really went with what I loved um, because that is how I love to build and that is the color combination that I really love so everything's going to be very black white and gray but there are going to be little pops of color uh, mainly blue yeah, I think mainly blue <laughs> because I thought that looked very nice as well. Um, so yeah, that's the whole way leading into the bedroom and doing all the lightings at the moment. Um, so yeah, the master bedroom is almost finished. 
and I don't know what we are going to do next. Like I said, I've built this house... I think a week or two ago I, I've built this. Uh, so I had this part ready for a while. Um, but I was just crazy busy with working. I still am. I still have five weeks more to go with this crazy schedule that I'm on. Because we are um, working on the store that I work in. So they are uh, expanding. We are getting more space. We are uh, renewing everything. Um, so yeah, and of course all the employees are helping um, to sp speed up the process. So yeah, we are all doing crazy hours at the moment, which is fine. I mean, I love redecorating stuff and just implementing all the new items that we have. Um, so that's really fun. So I work in a supermarket for the people that don't, don't know it. Um, so we are redecorating the supermarket or my, my, my boss is and we are just helping. Uh, which is a lot of fun and I work in the bakery section so I'm like the the baker of the store I bake all the breads um, and the croissants and things like that that is my function of the store and I'm getting a whole new bakery which is so awesome I'm so excited and uh, I had a little say in how it's um, how everything needed to be and uh, how it's uh, all was uh, functional for me to work so that's very nice as well that you have uh, a little say as an employee which is just awesome so yeah lots of exciting things at work and that's why um, i'm not uploading that much and infrequent infrequent oh my gosh i have so much trouble today with my english um so how are you guys doing by the way is it still crazy hot hot out there i mean it's still so hot here in Belgium um, which is so strange because it's already September usually it's this hot in July and August and in September it all cools down a bit um, it's still like really nice temperatures but it's not that scorching hot like it's now but it's still really hot today um, I think we are hitting the 28 degrees and that's Celsius by the way <laughs> um, so it's hot but it's manageable so I can still record uh, every anything over the 30 it's just insane here and then I'm boiling away so doing a um, a bar area inside the house and as you can see the uh, kitchen is outdoor and I just love the outdoor indoor living concept um, so decided to enclose it into walls with some mirrors to give it I don't know just a luxurious feel. I really liked the look of this. Um, uh, yeah, and that's basically it. And I think I do place a large chandelier on top of this uh, little bar section as well. Um, so as you can see, still in the black, gray and white tones. Uh, but here I'm, see, I'm implementing some color. Um, so there are blue stoves and a blue fridge oh my gosh and i am using all the stuff packs by the way uh, every stuff pack is used uh, i think except the backyard stuff pack i don't think i used that i don't think maybe i maybe i did no i don't think i use anything of that so um yeah so you need every pack except for the backyard stuff back so making the seating area right here and i didn't know what i wanted to use so this is going to change a lot i'm, I'm really going to play with rocks with chairs with tables uh, colors i just didn't know how i wanted this to look um but in the end i go with a rock from the outdoor stuff pack backyard stuff pack so yes i i use every pack I forgot that rock that's my favorite rock of the entire game so for all the no custom content rocks this is I just think this is the most beautiful one the the size is great I mean I don't need to scale it up um, I can use it in a living room in a kitchen in a 
bedroom the size is just really uh, on point and the recoloring is awesome so you have something for classic something for modern you have something for everything and the colors are really beautiful as well um, I am using loads of paintings from Dying Out uh, if I had to choose my favorite paintings it's definitely the Dying Out paintings uh, um, especially the long one that's this one in like three pieces that's my favorite painting of the entire game and I do use that a lot uh, around the house um, so yeah at first I was thinking let's go with the large wine glasses uh, but then I do change that again to the uh, other dine out paintings so starting with the uh, outdoor lounge area there is going to be a seating area um, some lounge chairs and a large television but this is not the setup that I'm going to stay with it's going to change just a little bit and I'm going to add in a bar as well um, so yeah also some decorations on the wall um, I don't know I really like this uh, wall decoration it's from perfect patio but it really does make uh, your patio area look very nice and I love placing those um, plants on top of it to make it look uh, a little bit more extra glamorous um so yeah and this is going to be the garage and in the garage i am going to implement a office area um at first i had like computers in the children's bedrooms but then it got me thinking of my mean girls let's play that the parents always go into the children's bedrooms to play on the computer so i thought no let's do a separate uh, office uh, so that uh, the parents have a own place to play blick block or whatever and they don't need to go into the children's bedrooms um so yeah doing a little bit of landscaping here as well it looked a bit boring so i decided to add some flowers and plants uh, and using of course my favorite flowers uh, which are the um I think those are uh, lavender plants. I really love to use those. So this is the, the layout that we are going with. Uh, this is the final layout. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for this build. I think I've covered everything. Um, so don't forget to place a like if you liked the build. And yes, it's not finished. It's not on the gallery yet. It will be uploaded with the final part and it's a two part series so it's not that long um, and I will be uploading part two very soon I'm not going to keep you guys waking waiting for like a week or something like that no it's coming soon but tomorrow because this, it's a Saturday today tomorrow it's Sunday and tomorrow it's Kylie Jenner day uh, tomorrow the final uh, part is going online and then you guys can download that house so that's very excited and I was working on the custom content paintings uh, this morning before work so yeah very exciting uh, and I hope to see you guys of course tomorrow and again don't forget to leave those likes that's like very important so that other people can see this video as well um, so yeah I hope to see you tomorrow and have a great day evening morning wherever you are and yeah bye bye